This is going to be a tutorial on how to dump the player's inventory, specifically slots 9 through 26, when you're out caving, into a chest or AE2 system. As long as you have this set up in a chunk boundary, shown by F3 and G on the keyboard, and the keyword is dump. And you'll see it only takes the items from here to here. Puts it in there. If you're looking for a base bin of the file, it's at the end of the video. Throw down the advanced computer, chat box, and the inventory manager. The wired modem is not necessary, it's just another example. And the memory card is important. We right click it. It's added me to the memory. Down to toast on rye, and you throw it in here. And if you forget, it's not a big deal. The program will just generate an error later on. And you have to turn these on. But I'll leave this one off just to show an error. LS, list what's on here. I like to do a make directory YouTube just to keep things organized. Less again. You see that YouTube's there. Change directory YouTube. We're in. Edit dumper.lua. This creates a new file. The two dashes are comments. Not necessary, but have it, I guess. Control S, saving. So for a project like this, it's important to look at the docs. This is from the mod developer, the inventory manager. So what's important is the name inventory capital M manager. And they give a little chunk of code as an example. I'll be borrowing this. And instead of calling it manager, I'll have my own variable name because that doesn't really matter. But what's really important is this. This matters. And then here's all the functions you can use. I'll be using the remove item from player later. Local inventory manager. It's going to be assigned the peripheral dot find and if you didn't catch that if you hit tab it auto completes inventory manager and that spelling is important next it's good to check that it's actually found so if we go if the inventory manager is equal to nil non-existent notice how equals is an assignment up here this equals that, but this is a check. Is this equal to nil? So if it is equal to nil, that's a problem. Now this is kind of like a print statement. It just generates an error. We can just say the inventory manager dot found and don't forget the end statement. I usually don't include it at the end of a sentence, but it just looks a little cleaner in this case. If we go Control S, Control R to run it, notice it says not found. I can turn this one on and it'll be found. And of course, if we were to put this right next to the machine, the computer, it'd be found. I just wanted to show off the cable. So Control. Control R to run it again. Program finish, no errors. The next device I want to add to this program is the chat box. And again, the name matters chat box. And here's some of the functions you can use, and they have some examples. And they actually have a further example down here where I'm going to borrow the code. But again, I'll be kind of copying this chunk because it's a good place to start. The so local CB equals perif tab find tab whoops chat i'm going to make a typo here intentionally instead of uh box i'll type chat bot if cb equals nil then error chat box not found 
not a bad idea to use the name here just so when you're troubleshooting later you say ah the difference and then don't forget the end statement so control s control r i didn't find the chat box interesting so we look at it and say ah we made a typo Of course, a lowercase b also has a typo, so it has to be capital. Program finished, no errors. Continuing on in the docs, if we look at the script from uh, mod developer, this example here, we can see that they've initialized theirs somewhat differently but what i'm after is this piece of code in the while loop this event this local event parameter one parameter two equals os full event chat now i don't exactly know what this all means but from reading the comments which is really nice the event i think is whatever this is parameter one is actually the player and parameter two is actually the message so it's basically saying you can do a test if if a player says a message you can pull that event and use that message to say hey did that person type open the door and if they did you can do checks so i'm going to borrow this chunk of code i'm going to put a print statement here just to let uh let me have some diagnostics on the screen proof that the code's actually running running dumper v1 i guess it's not v1 it is v1 but it's not v1 so control s control r proof that it ran and then it's done the next thing that we're going to do is a while true do loop which is in, basically it runs indefinitely and you have to close it with an end statement so this program will always run and that's the reason I didn't put this print statement into this loop, because we would just generate running dumper all the time. If I just run this, or save it, and then control R to run it. I'm not sure what happened there. I think it froze. I hit the control T and then the control S to turn it off. We're back on. So LS, change directory to YouTube, tab to autocomplete, LS again. And we'll just do edit dumper tab. I think it froze because there's literally nothing going on inside this loop. So let's just not run it when it's empty. But it, it ran indefinitely until I clicked uh, stop running the code and turn the computer off and on again. So if I hit tab, local event. And just for my own curiosity, this is a variable. I don't have to type event. I could just type an E, which I will. And then instead of typing in parameter one or two, I want to type in what it actually is, which is going to be the player that types the message. And then I'll use message instead of parameter two or whatever it was. These variables just make more sense to me. So the rest of it's the same. OS pull event. And then we're looking for a chat event and this has to be chat lowercase spelled just like that otherwise it will not work it's a keyword i don't understand all the different types of events but chat is one of them the next thing i want to do is an if statement if message this message right here it equals dump n I like to type an end just to make sure that I don't forget it. Hit tab, print, um, yes. This is just a quick test and I find it helpful to check the code. So control S, O R, running dumper. And notice it doesn't say it's finished because it's actually still running until we click the button over here. 
So test. There's nothing. We type in dump. Types in yes. I could also do something like if message equals dump and if player equals post on rye. Push the message, which actually isn't a bad idea because I'm on a single player world right now. But if you were on a server, you'd want to have your code not uh, run if somebody else typed the message. Control S, Control R. So dump. Responds with yes. If we were to type my name wrong, getting the T erased, Control S, Control R. Run the message again. Nothing happened. So I think I'll actually leave that piece of code there. What I should actually do is change this to a useful message, like dumping slots 9 through 6. And through testing, I've figured this out, but basically this is slot 0 to 8. This is 9 to 26 and 27 to, I think this is 35. And these are in the hundreds, like 103 to 100, something like that. And I'm not actually sure if the Curious Baubles add-on, if you can actually interact with it. I haven't tested that yet. But my focus is to dump whatever items are here to here into the chest, which of course... I didn't set up. And that is on the east side of the inventory manager. Judging by the mini map, I'm facing east. But the next thing I want to do when the person types, when I type dump, is I want it to get, well, I want it to read my inventory. So if I do my inventory, this is a new variable I'm creating. It's going to hold. I think this is a table equals I am dot get items and then the parentheses because this is a function basically this is the new variable I made my inv it's going to be assigned I am dot get items so it's looking at this I am here this inventory manager which is connected to me through this card I do a print my inv, test this code, control S, control R. I dump. A table is returned, no error. If I was to remove this, I guess type dump again. We have an error at 17, uh, line 17. The inventory manager doesn't have my memory card or it's not bound to a player. So that's the error you would have got. You forgot this. Line 17. Which is literally right here. It's using this function get items. If that returns an error if it can't do the task. So getting rid of the print statement. I'm going to change it up a bit for a quick test. Or key comma value. These are just variable names, they don't matter. Unable to create backup. Hmm. It's a weird message. Okay. For key and value in errors my in do print key value and then end. So a is short for keys, B is short for value. This is a Lua function, pairs. It's going to loop through this table and print everything that's in that table. Control S, Control R. Dump. 
Okay, so this is what was returned. 1 to 4 to 0. I don't know why it does this, but this is 0, and 1 to 4 is these items. And to prove that, if I move this 0 to here, you'd see it's a 1 to 5. Dump. So basically, a, within this table that we've searched of my inventory, it's returning this many slots of items. Click a stack of chests in, and we do something like this. Fill up the entire inventory. And type dump. I can't scroll in this uh, window for some reason, but it's detecting all of these slots. 19 to 35 have chests in them. And if I was to go 9 to 26, which is the goal of the program, run dump again, you'll see 9 gets cut off, but 9 to 26 is all these tables of items. Up the program, control. If I get rid of that print statement and I just do another loop through the inventory, just to try to get a better look, or key and value in pairs. This time I'm just going to look at V, the value, not the key. Because my understanding is that this key is actually the slot, like slot 0 or slot 8, and the value is all the data of the item. So if I loop through each one of these values again, I should get more information about it. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to look like. This is just kind of my own test for myself to see what, uh, what it looks like. Print e comma value and then the end statement control s control r hit dump so it's too bad you can't scroll actually i know what i'll do i'll clear my inventory inventory is empty and let's throw in What's an interesting item I could look at? Or we'll do two ors actually. So if we type dump, interesting. I'm going to stop the program and run it again so it's cleaner to see. Type dump again. Okay, here this is better. There's my message that it's dumping slots 9 through 26, which isn't true right now. And this is the this is the table of the specific slot. So or the max size is 64 the tags table. So there's even a table for the tags. And if we look here, I think it's the block tags. All this extra information can actually be pulled. What I'm really interested in for my program is the count. You could get really fancy and worry about other things like the name and all the extra info, but count is what I'm after. Count of two. Let's end that. So I can erase the second loop. That was just kind of for science. It was good to, to test things. So depending how new you are to Lua, sometimes these cheat sheets are pretty handy, or just Googling things. If I search this cheat sheet for pairs, notice this for K and V pairs do. And there's even another one called I pairs, and I don't fully understand the difference, but this works for me, so I use it. There's all kinds of quick little shortcuts. Or not shortcuts, but it's a cheat sheet, right? So. It's very handy to, uh, to have a look at this kind of stuff and have it bookmarked. And notice looking back at the inventory manager page, what's the function I've used so far? The get items. So this basically tell me, tells me if I use this function, it's going to return a table of 
the player's inventory, which it did. And then I f further parsed it to find out exactly, you know, what I need in that inventory. So this variable here is going to be called foo. And it's going to be an empty array. And I don't know the best place to put it, if it should be outside of the loop or if it can be initialized here. If anybody knows, please let me know. But I'm just putting it there. So table dot insert into the empty table. We're gonna do k and v dot count. So I'll try to explain this. This is a function or whatever it's called, a special keyword in Lua. It allows you to insert values into a table. So this empty table up here, I'm going to insert in a key, which is the slot information, 0, 1 to 8, and then v dot count. And to show that off, if I do print a dot v dot count, roll s, and control r. Well, yeah, I already have items in here. So we've got two items of coal and four items of iron, slot 9 and 26. Save dump. 9 has two pieces of coal, and 26 has four pieces of iron. So that's the information I want. Just to show why dot doing dot count is important. If we just do that in the print statement, the table's still going to be okay, but what's actually getting printed to me will be a whole table. Control S, Control R. It's this table. I don't want this print statement. Print statements are good for debugging, especially in loops to see what's going on, but it doesn't need to be in there. The next thing I'm going to do is another for loop. And my understanding again with these variables k and v is it doesn't matter what they're called, they're just variables. You could have typed in, you know, c and b, and they're only, I think they only exist in this for loop. And once the loop's done, kind of open for use again is, is my understanding. And I haven't experienced an issue doing this, so I'm going to keep doing it until I learn otherwise, which is. I think how most people do things. So for key and value in the in the food table that I've just made, which is basically only inserting items into the table that actually are not empty slots. It ignores empty slots. So here's another if statement check. If is greater than or equal to nine slot nine and a is less than or equal to 26, then I should type an end statement here and an end statement here. I prefer to do that because I just forget otherwise. Print a. So here's something different. Um, these two dots, these kind of attach variables to strings. Okay, let's try to talk this through. So for whatever items actually exist in my inventory, my inventory foo, non-empty slots, it's going to check if slot number, which is what k is, is greater than 9 or equal to it, and less than 26 or equal to it. Then it's going to print the slot number, and then it's going to attach with these two dots the string segment, and then the two dots again to put another variable in. I don't know if that's a good way of explaining that, but that's how I understand it. Basically, variable attached to string, attached to variable. So without actually doing anything yet, let's just run this. Control S, Control R. Still have two and four. Just for science, let's pick up copper. Put a half stack there, and a half stack there. So now if we type dump, slot 9, 
And here's that string segment I inserted. Slot 9 is 2 items. Slot 10 is 32, and then 26, and then 25. I don't know why it counts weird, but it doesn't really matter. See how it's mixed up? Here's the interesting part. Not only are we going to print what's between slots 9 and 26, we're also going to do IM, which if you remember is the inventory peripheral, IM. So IM dot remove item from player the function. So spelling matters, capitalization on the IFP matters, open bracket, because again functions always have brackets associated with them. I'm going to type in east, and I believe this is a key word. I believe it all has to be capitalized and spelt right. Let's exit this for a second. Again, this chest is east of this block. And up and down are probably the other key words besides north, west, and south. So V and then K. So this is the interesting part here. Um, I'll show the website in a second, but we're going to use this function and we're going to take the items from the player and we're going to put them in the east inventory, which is that chest. And V, if we look at V, V was the, the count and then K is the slot. Notice how they have the function set up. String, direction, so you don't actually type in string, and I think it's just supposed to tell you that it's a string. So you knew I knew to type in east in quotations with a all capital. And then the next thing is the inventory count. And then the next thing is the slot. Apparently, if you leave item blank, it just grabs whatever items there. You could actually specify, but the order matters. And that's the whole reason I had to find out the item count earlier on is because it's looking for a, in this function, it expects a direction, a count, a slot number, and an item. And I think this bracket and this bracket, these square brackets mean these are optional. But for looping in my dump program, it's really important for me to know the slot and the count, I guess. I couldn't just guess the count. And I think it tells you that in here. It's always good to reference the docs. Yeah, so if I would have just looped through this remove item without having the count, it would have maybe just done one or it would have been all messed up. I think that's how that works. So this is the whole program here. I guess it's just time to run it and test it. Control S, Control R. It's empty. We type in dump. Empty inventory. And there's the two, 64, and 4. 7778. And then there's the output. So let's stop this and run it again. 77. Eight, seven, seven, seven. I don't exactly know why it mismatches, but slot 17 is definitely the top slot. So as a final step, I uploaded this to the paste bin. So if you want to run this file, paste bin, get U E W capital W that matters 59 A capital M, 6, then you give it a name. I'll just type in youtube.lua, doesn't matter. So now if we do ls, we got two programs. So edit YouTube. It's basically the same program, I just change the comments up a bit, just to make sure I don't erase this in the future. Modify it, I'll try to leave it exactly how it is. 
Control S, Control R. We'll do something like that. Just to prove that it still works. Dump. Boom, boom, boom. Empty inventory. All the items are there. And of course, instead of using a chest, you could use Applied Energistics and import all the items into your, your inventory system. <laughs>